ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to... What track are we on again? Silverstone. <laughs> Shut up, Silverstone! Uh, <laughs> I am Byron Dirksen. I will be your host for the evening. And with me, as always, is Travis Wallace and no one else at all. Not a uh, soul. No, nobody at all. Nobody. Uh, Mike has unfortunately had a massive stroke and uh, will be unable to commentate for the rest of his life. Not a stroke. He just had a tooth out. <laughs> Trying to cover up for his rampant alcoholism. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> uh, alcohol rots your teeth. Don't drink, kids. <laughs> Actually, that's meth. Everybody knows that alcohol is perfectly good for your teeth as long as you're drinking white Russians. I get a little confused. I'm sorry. This is the championship race, is it? it Am I is. understanding that? Well, I mean, maybe you, sir, could explain to the kids at home what exactly is going on in Los Standings. Fantastic. It is the final round. It's uh, going to be two 30-minute races, uh, reverse grid on the second one. And looking at the points uh, for the people that's here, uh, Sean Kenny is currently leading. Uh... Then let's see, Martin Edmonds, Eric Friesen, both have a, uh, a chance to take that away from them tonight. There's a couple of contenders that are not here. That should make it a little easier for them. Less traffic to uh, defend with. Division 2 is going to be between Barker and Joe Racer. And Division 3, Jesse Hampton pretty much got it sealed. Uh... But Pinero and McGracken also have a shot at it tonight if they can finish well. Uh, with that out of the way, looks like the rundown going to be Mike Stoffmill on pole in the Cadillac, uh, followed by Sean Kinney, Eric Friesen, Richard DeRoche, Travis Wallace rounds out your top five, sixth Martin Edmonds, seventh Jesse Hampton, followed by Visor. Someone, uh, P9, Jerome, <laughs> and Barker uh, is going to be your top ten. Do you not know the man, the myth, the legend, Visar Jacoli? Yeah, I'm not even going to try to say that. So, well, I just insert did Insert name here. That is the, disgusting. Uh, yep, yep, rampant cocaine act. It's happening, man. It's happening. Uh, I got just a one-minute warm-up. and the, No, this is the gritting. There was no warm-up. No so, warm-up for you. <laughs> waiting for everyone to get on the grid so that we can go racing in the final round. Should be good. There we go. Now we're jumping out there. Puma. Puma. Hey, Sean Kenny is a big fan of Cougars. Hmm. Uh, I think we all are. There we go. Now we got everybody on the grid. Has anybody ever done a break stand coming out of here? Oh, that would be fantastic, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right. Smoke is in the air. That means we're rolling. Soft Mill going to clear the lead going down into turn one. Sean Kenny looks like he's going to secure second. The race is on for fourth. Where your two by two starts, a little bit of shoving and contact. It's okay. Nobody's off yet. What do you mean it's okay? Come on, man. <laughs> oh, we got one in the background. But other than that, uh, I haven't seen any major catastrophe. Here's the race for fifth. It'll be between Martin Edmonds and Richard Roche. BMW versus Corvette. Very uh, BMW and Corvette heavy field as we look down the straightaway there. That's pretty much all you see. <sighs> Who is that handsome devil in fourth? I am unfamiliar with him. Ah, uh, he shows up every now and then. From what I from what Scandalous. I hear. Scandalous. <laughs> But he's driving a Cadillac, so it's got to be good. Could be. Cadillac grills, Cadillac mills. Check out the oil his Cadillac spills. Every day. <laughs> Eric Friesen in the crayon vomit car. That seems to be his good luck charm. Uh, it does. Running third at the moment. Good start from him. And from the shot previous, looks like uh, the top ten, maybe even farther, has, uh, has gone single file. And uh, getting spread out early. Only a 30-minute race, so not much time to lay back. And you do have the options of soft and hard. Oh, wow. We do have uh, Pinero. Cristiano. Is uh, taking the hard tire option. Oh, goodbye. And he gets shoved wide. Missed who that was. One of the Corvettes. Ooh. There's three of them. Just point at one. You're right. Why are there three of the same car? Is that legal? <laughs> is that a glitch? 
What am I looking at? Is there a Matrix thing going on here? What's <laughs> happening? Listen, you guys need a little originality. I'm just saying. But, uh, oh, we got a Corvette off. Oh, Another one around. Go. Oh, man. The back That'll is break up the field ugly. a little bit. Uh, Ooh. what is the, 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 this is 30 minute races, are the softs gonna like, completely lose their shit by the end, or, and how long does it take the hard tires to kick into gear? Uh, I went with the softs in this one, I mean, it's only 30 minutes, and I think at the end of both of my races, I was still, I think I was in the 30s, on the, uh, on the left front, like 30 percentile range. Uh, does I know some people- Does that mean that you weren't pushing hard enough? Apparently so. Mike Stoffmill was kicking everybody's tail, and I think he said he had like 10% left. So apparently I wasn't doing enough. But, uh, yeah, the hards, I I mean, they're so off pace at the beginning, and they're only really going to just level out with the softs. Once the softs wear out, I, I don't see a tactical advantage to going hard tire in this. Such a short race. Yeah, <clears throat> yeah, because as I understand it, it takes, I don't know, 5 to 90 laps just to warm the, so the hard tires up, so... I don't uh, don't think you're going to be making that much time in this particular scenario. Yeah, it's probably accurate. Somewhere between 5 and 90. Somewhere yeah. between 1 the and the end of the race. <laughs> it will get warm. Andy Blade currently in 10th place. The best finish he's ever had. <laughs> and uh, I got to say, man, using, uh, using that car he's using there, the knockoff Ferrari... It's uh, it's not well suited for Silverstone. A lot of high speed, and that car is is not a high speed car. It's got the agility down, but only straights, man. He's gonna be really suffering. It's Josiah Jerome here looking to the inside. Dun 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 dun, dun dun dun. So, like this is about our closest battle. Top ten. Mm -hmm. Got a couple people around a half a second, but uh, right here we got three cars under a second to each other. Sean Bat Kenny's still only two seconds behind Stoffmill, so I mean, that's an achievement. It really is. Stoffmill was flying here. That was quite impressive. Oh, Hello, goodbye. Going around Hampton in the roof. That's the only roof in the field. It is. Not a good showing there. The Not a good showing at all. <laughs> a lot of smoke. It may have been on fire. You know, I'm surprised. Maybe it's because people weren't showing up, but I remember these races being just dominated by BMWs. And uh, I'm only seeing about a handful of them here today. Starting strong and uh, finishing weak, it appears. We already lost Meisner. Is Meisner uh, dead? Uh, uh, I think Meisner's dead. Not seeing him. Not seeing him on the, uh, on the run down there. R.I.P. The Pretty Good Dane. Yeah, we may have lost him. Had a battle up here in the top five. Corvette and two of the about seven BMWs that made the race today. Yeah, the Corvette, great in a straight line. I haven't driven it much. I'm not sure how it does the corners. It does not. But uh, but it is a fantastic straight line car. John Barker's still working on Andy Blade here. They uh, got the position away from the spinning Hampton, so this is now the battle for what appears to be 8th instead of 10th. Four cars in this train. Oh, Maluski looking to the inside. Oh, looks like he rattled, uh, looks like he may have rattled Jerome there who steps out wide. But he's fighting back. Got the inside line for the uh, the right-hander, and gets it done. Gets the spot back. Very nice. I think Malewski might be a little far off to pull that move. I'm just putting that out there. I've not seen... Okay, I've seen one guy do a four-car pass, and he's currently in first right now. So, I mean, that's not going to be a thing. <laughs> it's tough to compare to him. <laughs> not many others that can do it. I'm just putting it out there that unless something weird happens, I don't see that being ha a thing that happens. And Not that I don't doubt his... Oh, my also goodness. on the hard oh, tires. Oh, he, oh, he's oh, just oh, trying oh. to get him warm. It's okay. I don't think that's going to be counted as a legal lap. <laughs> uh, it was just a little cut. I will allow it. He saw a couple, you know, the, the groundskeeper wasn't doing his job, needed to wear off a little grass. Uh, 
It's going to take him out of that battle for 8th. That gap's grown. And mm -hmm. uh, looks like Wallace up here has caught Friesen for the uh, last podium position in race 1. Put him in the wall! I've, I've really I really tried hard not to since I'm, I'm, on, I'm not running the full schedule this season. And I just showed up uh, just purely because this was the last round and I enjoy driving the Cadillac. Didn't, uh, didn't want to ruin anybody's chances, like, you know, take them completely out. I'm, I may touch him a little. Nothing Is it true that if you put half a pint of whiskey in the gas tank, it makes you run faster? Absolutely. Excellent. Look back here, back to 10th, battle for 9th. Barker's going to go defensive. Give Jerome the run in. Oh, he pushes hard. Door to door, can't get it to stick. Settle for 10th for now. 11th, what is happening? Somebody's flying around the track. We're going we're gonna to call is... it 10th for now. I don't know where he's actually at. <laughs> there seems to be some conjecture, yes. But uh, th these two doing battle has allowed Andy Blade to take a step away, so I'm sure he's liking what he's seeing back there. Taking a look back up here for third. Battle's intensifying. Like Wallace is... Fully reeled in Friesen now. Long straight. The caddy should have an advantage here. Like he's going to be able to get a run on him. Going to stay tucked in line for now. See, what you need to do here is you see that big old target he has right on his back bumper? You go right up there with the front quarter panel and you put him in the wall. I thought that was what was about to happen. <laughs> I was driving in hard. No advantage, though. Jonathan Kenneth's currently still in second place. He's only four seconds behind the leader, which is an achievement in and of itself. Losing ground, but not as fast as we would have thought. Guess, uh, guess Stoff Mill decided to take it easy for this one. And that went into where Sean Kenny is driving the Thunder Cougar Falcon Bird. <laughs> Needs more eagle. <laughs> More eagle. He can see him. You can see him. That's wow. I don't understand. You can still see stuff. I don't. I don't get it. Yeah. Normally, he ten minutes into a race, he is securely gone. Like yeah. not even in a wide shot. So it's definitely impressive seeing seeing Kenny keep him in the same in the same frame. Yeah, you could almost see him from third place. This I don't know what's <laughs> happening right now. Oh, uh, he must have something wrong with the car. It's got to be it. I got no other explanation. You want to do good, you try and do good, you give 110%. A slow forming battle. Uh, like Wallace may be taking his time. Could be. Would you say that Wallace was in the full game suit at this point? Oh boy, yes he was. Uh, All right. Not taking his time though is Ariel Zatoni. <clears throat> Taking a look too wide through a very fast sweeper back there. Hard to go too wide through there, but they made it work. And uh, Hampton looks to be uh, trying to work his way back up from where he spun out from. Yeah, there he goes. Gets the pass done on Zatoni. Next in line is Mike McGracken. I hear that he's having some real problems in this race, what with his recent uh, catastrophic stroke. Unable to move 90% of his left pinky. <laughs> Only the left pinky. Adds a tone. Well, I mean, it, it, back. it affects the grip and the balance, the whole deal. Barely able to race. Uh, I guess the pinkies are important for that uh, that last bit of grip when on the extreme edge. <laughs> Gotta ride the edge, baby. No pinky, <laughs> no deal. And it looks like we may have missed an attempt for third here. So the camera cuts to us. But uh, your top four, top five, still sitting the way they have been all race. That's uh, still a, a quick rundown of the top ten. Hadn't done that yet. So we got, uh, obviously, Mike Stoffmill checking out. Only four and a half seconds up, though. So only a half a second from last time that we that we checked. Uh, second is still Sean Kenny. You see him there in the Puma. Then we got Eric Friesen, Travis Wallace doing battle for third. Richard DeRoche hanging on to fifth. Then we have Martin Edmonds and 
Go, Byron. Jacoli. Oh, I got yeah, it. Yeah, boy. Oh, sorry. Uh, Visar Jacoli. You betcha. Visar Jacoli. I got it. I got this. Don't tear me up in the comments. Uh, no, Andy Blade, Josiah Jerome, and John Barker have something weird going on with a second and a half gap in between them. I don't know what's going on there. But anyways, that rounds out your top ten. Wait, Andy Blade is uh, in the top ten? He must have had only 17 Newcastle Browns instead of the prerequisite 24-pack. Down that way if he's holding eighth. Mm-hmm. And uh, looking at the straight there, it looked like Wallace was going to make a move, but he stays tucked in line. Like he may be struggling for top speed in the Cadillac, which is odd. Doing a pretty good job on the corners, though. It seems to be where he's making up the ground. And what he can do in the back half of the course. As uh, with these two battling, Sean Kinney is uh, is making his own run, getting away from uh, the battle for third there. I don't know how successful that run is being since uh, Stoffmill seems to be pulling away no matter what. Uh, well, a lap ago it was at four and a half seconds. This lap is at four and a half seconds. It's like they Possibly. might be leveling out. He must have had some kind of straight versus corner situation going on because I saw it at five and a half seconds <laughs> right before you looked. Oh, okay. Now it's climbing. Now, there yeah. it is. Yep. Yeah, uh-huh. Yep, yep. I see what you mean. Could have been that part of the track. Maybe the slow corners. You might be right. Yarp. Had a battle heating up here uh, for fifth. Straight away kind of stretched them out. Now they're bunched back up in the quarters. Jacoli thought he was going to go around the uh, the long way there. Like he gets it done this time. Coming up to the uh, to the start finish straight here. And like your top ten still running in the same order. Not much passing going on in this round. You think Boring. stone with the with the high speed into the corners would be uh, create some good passing opportunities. Boring. Put them in the wall. <laughs> then it could be that just everybody's on that even of a pace. It's just that hard could to be. pass. We'll see here in about ten minutes when everybody's tires are shit. <laughs> yeah, once the tires go, that'll that'll definitely show you who's been saving and who's been pushing. Riding along with Wallace again here race for third. He hadn't been able to get it done so far. Staying tucked in line right behind Eric Friesen. Is... Uh, no, they're still holding around that two-second mark. They had a straightaway little stretch back out. Yeah, there you go. Still about a two-second gap up to Sean Kinney in second. Battle for fifth back here in the background. Still in the same running order. on the uh, halfway mark here, so this will be, should be about the point where if you've been saving the tires, start to be able to tell Jacoli once again looking to go the long way around, can't get it done. Takes a wide line into the hairpin, that should give him a good run out. Is it uh, weird that I want to do a random uh, archer manipulation and go, you're not my super visar! <laughs> not at all, not weird at all. Thank you. God, that's a great show. Mm -hmm. Oh! Hello! A little mistake there from Edmonds. It's Perhaps his tires are greasier than the gravy he put on his the poutine? It's Edmonds tires. There's, They're probably already down to 30%. I, I would like to know <laughs> what his were at by the end of the race. Was, I, I hadn't seen him pop up. I'm not sure if he's on softs or if he went hards. I would imagine he went hards. If they ever put up the, my idea of having the color coding of the, the S or H symbols, <clears throat> I swear his will be like bright or like dark ass red like right <laughs> now. Got the battle here for 12th. Go Racer trying to hang on to a few points in the, uh, the battle for the Division 2 win today. And it looks like he might lose it here to Ariel Zatoni. Yeah, he clears him. Ariel, the Zamboni's Zamboni. Zamboni. Bonus points to anybody who actually knows Ooh. what a Zamboni is. The, uh, it's, the, it's the preferred mode of transportation uh, in uh, uh, Saskatchewan, correct? Correct. What I thought. 
I think when you test for them, it's a it's a requirement to uh, <laughs> to blow at least a point oh eight. Yes, because then it feels like you're going a million miles an hour. <laughs> oh man, looking at uh, Cristiano Pinero here on Joe Racer. Gonna get it done. Joe Racer uh, going the wrong way. If he's if he's one to uh, to secure a division two. Feel a good distance behind John Barker, who uh, they finish this way. That's gonna be really great for Barker because not only will he get the points for this race with Joe Racer that far behind him with that reverse grid, he'll be starting at the front in round two today. I just had the best idea in the world. Are you ready? Oh God! Mid race reverse grid. So you do how would X we pull that of, off? <laughs> X number of laps. It would be carnage. You know, like figure eight racing. It would be absolutely 100% carnage. It, so you hit, so, oh, a little bubble grid. Oh, Luciano, you dirty bastard. <laughs> Lucky Luciano up in his bitch. Oh, they're little still, grid, little they're grid. still shoving. Corvette's looking like teammates, but not driving like it. <laughs> I thought he was going to torpedo him right, right unless away. They're, unless they're racing for Red Bull, then they totally look like teammates. <laughs> I thought Luciano was going to torpedo the shit out of Molesky. <laughs> so I'm coming in from the wide, the wide on the straightaway, just like, <laughs> oh no, here it comes. Oh, you've been blacklisted, sir. Yep. I think that oh, would be the result of that. The video seems to have decided to have a little bit of a hiccup. What's your timestamp there in the race? Uh, 11.28. Oh, wow, I've jumped Seven, way ahead. Six, five. You get the idea. Uh, let's see, during all the action in the, uh, in the back of the grid, looks like we've had a swap in position for the podium. Wallace, at some point, has gotten around Eric Friesen and has really pulled away from him. Opened up a two and a half second gap. Uh, so apparently that may have happened a while ago. Uh-oh. My mind's doing weird things. I think I'm good. I'm at 11, 10.59, You good? Uh, I'm, at, I'm just pausing mine at 10.30. If you could just tell me when you're there, give me a 1, 2, and then go. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I just we'll I, I, I don't know what happened. All of a sudden, it, uh, it it had a little bit of a hiccup. Anyway, my idea for the re mid race reverse grid is you have to hit a certain amount of laps, and then as soon as you hit the finish line on that last lap, you immediately turn around and start going the other way. Oh, I'm on board. I'm at thirty two, thirty one, thirty. Yeah, that would uh that would be sweet. That would be sweet. So the the guys that are a lap down at that point. Do they mm -hmm. get to turn around that lap and be back? No, you the have same to cross lap, the finish or be line. Be that many laps ahead? <laughs> no, you have to. You have to cross the finish. You have to complete a certain amount of laps before you can turn around and go the other way. Ah, wow! Then, woo! We got a we got a few cars that are several laps down. That could get deadly in a hurry. Oh, yeah! Like DeRoche running over the curb, getting a little squiggly. He gets it back on track safely, but he is going to lose the position to Edmonds here, who's going to do the same thing and just overshoot a corner. What is going on in the uh, well, in the battle for fifth? Well, you see, Martin's just a big cheater. It's, that's all there is to it. Oh, oh, caught on camera. Big old, I mean, he was caught on camera. Last time I watched Martin do some racing, I think you and I predicted that there would be a minimum of 93 mi minutes in the box per him and uh, for Darcy. <laughs> and we were not totally wrong. I'm sensing a pattern here. Oh, no. Speaking of patterns, my goodness. Lord like, have mercy. Uh, DeRoche has lost it again, but this time completely bend it. I saw uh, I saw him lose body parts there. Yeah, boy, what was that? Did he get a gopher? Uh, it's something. That was that was catastrophic. His race may be done. Damn nuclear gophers digging holes in the track. <laughs> Man, and that's a shame, too. Only ten minutes left in the race. Battling for a top five. I was going to say, that's like five minutes ahead of my schedule. I thought we had another five <laughs> minutes before we saw weird shit like that. Man. Racing's getting intense. Looking here again at uh, Maluski and Joe Racer now. Racer falling to 14th. I think that's where he was at last time we checked. But he's got a line of cars behind him trying to get by. Joe, don't call me racy, Racer. Oh! Oh, we got one of the Corvettes in the back. Uh, Jeebus, hello. Ichazo doing some shoving on Mike McGracken after running wide. And now Maluski taking uh, taking one of the many shortcuts and a retirement. Maybe that, that was a hardware uh, malfunction or something going on there. 
It's actually pronounced Malewski. He's Polish. Trust me on this one. Malewski, okay. Just just go with it. It's It doesn't make any sense to me either. Odds are I'm not going to remember that. I'm going to probably call him Malewski again. Just call him like Louis. a typical American and not give a crap about anyone <laughs> else's nationality. Polish, Polish names are really weird, <laughs> man. Polish names are very strange and just trust me when I say it's probably pronounced a certain way. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Now the top five, top six, really, uh, have have really broken away. They're all spread out pretty far, though. Uh, it's like most of the battling up front is going to be done unless something happens. Not anybody really close enough to. Uh... No, if they take the Jacoli line, can make up some time, but uh, not many people close <laughs> enough to really do any battles up there. So it's gonna be the new the new subway. It's like, uh, we're gonna go down and take the Jacoli line, go straight <laughs> through the city. Do it. Is it uh, is it underground or are we going over the buildings? We can neither predict nor affirm nor deny. There may be some ramps involved. Ooh, that would be cool. I mean, not to like cool. experience, but definitely to watch. Yeah, as long as I've got a million airbags, I'm good. Oh man, the video of the guy sitting on the airbag in the uh, in the garage and getting blown <laughs> to the ceiling just popped right in my head. I was, I was thinking about <laughs> there was one I saw recently. This guy they put an airbag up underneath a recliner and had this really fat dude with a helmet on out in the, in the backyard and they set it off. <laughs> I swear to God, his neck was just fucked. <laughs> his head snapped back so hard. Oh, and my video just did a weird thing. What's your timestamp? Uh, currently six minutes and fifteen in the race. Okay, so I just jumped like two seconds ahead. It's all good. Ooh, that's a pretty good advantage. Yes, I will clearly I will read you the race from the future. Joe Racer spinning the tires. You can definitely tell now the tires are starting to go. With uh with all the corner cutting and everything else going on, Joe Racer there spinning the tires, dropping to fourteenth again. Perfect for Hell. Luciano the dirty bastard to chess. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's your nickname. Deal with it. Pretty much. The, looks like now that he's gotten around Joe Racer. Uh, can't tell if he's closing that gap to Pinero or not. Luciano is the Stan Hansen of the Racing League, which is something that only real wrestling fans can understand. Where did we just jump to? Back up to Chicoli. Six. Uh -huh. uh, is it cutting to him because we're closing the gap to Martin Edmonds? Maybe. Oh, I had to guess, the Super Visar. I'd say Edmonds has no tires left. Maybe that could be why the gap is closing. Not really close enough to get anything done at the moment. Yes, maybe uh, the director figured this would end up being a better battle in the long run. I'm not sure. Oh, here we go. Back to Mike McCracken here. Now going to be working on Joe Racer. Not looking good for Joe Racer. Yeah, he's going to really have to hope for a better finish in race two if he wants a... Uh, he wants an opportunity to, to beat Barker here for Division 2. I'd say it's uh, mathematically just not going to happen, because John Barker, if I know anything, is definitely going to cheat in race 2. Ooh, calling him out. I mean, I would. Fuck yeah, I would. <laughs> I'm going to win! By any means. Correct. Just don't do it the Martin Edmonds way and get caught on camera. I would put the potato in your fucking tailpipe. <laughs> And on four minutes of round one here, uh, be Mike Stoffmill still holding on to uh, the lead for the moment. Sean Kenny, I say for the moment, he's been there the whole time. Sean Kenny now nine to nine and a half seconds back, it looks like. Oh, take a break from that. Ariel Zatoni looking to make a move to get into the top ten here. From uh, Hampton, who had a spin earlier that we saw, done a nice job to come back up to tenth, though. But, uh,. Under pressure from the Corvette of Zatoni. Be able to get that done. Only got about two more laps. I have to put the moves on quick. Andy Blade, seventh place. I don't understand what's going on here. Clearly, he has not even close to finish the first 12 pack of Newcastle Browns. Oh, a Chazo. Little tight through there. Could have gotten it done. Caught the, uh, caught the rumble strips down there. 
a little flash to Pinero. We try to distract him going through the sweeping S's here. Very high speeds through there. The, uh, once the tires got going, you can see there, <laughs> it was very easy to run wide. <laughs> Hopefully it gets caught on camera, but uh, I demonstrate that flawlessly in race two. You do like a nice uh, 420 spin and then park it right in the wall? Oh, no, it's a it is a perfect 360 and continue going. Well done. Oh, yes, it's beautiful. It's like I meant to do it, although I didn't. Oh, Jacoli getting aggressive here with Edmonds, giving him a little shot in the back. I'll allow it. Absolutely. All right, let's pick back up. Well, we might as well wait till the end now. Only two minutes left. I think from where the leader's at, we actually, I think we'll see two more laps. 17 remember, more laps. Probably not that many. 16 and a half more laps. Andy Blade, though, you're talking about this guy. Talking about him being up in seventh. He's got an eight second gap back to eighth mm -hmm. place. Oh, got some stuff going on behind these guys. Looks like Pinero went wide. Joe Racer and McGracken through. Josiah Jerome eighth place. That's pretty good, darn good for him for an academy racer. Absolutely. And, uh, I mean, this was no weak field. And, you know, they're. The, Rome used to about a 15 minute race. This one's double that. And McGracken mm -hmm. using the bumper. Yeah, I boy. Like it a lot. Yeah, give him a little English. Oh, put Pinero all the way in the dirt. Fantastic use of a Cadillac grill right there. Looked clean to me. I love it. But uh, back to Josiah. Yeah, I mean, you know, double the length of what he's used to running. And a very strong field and, and showing up and running eighth and, uh, in round one. Very impressive. Put that boy in the enduro. <laughs> Got a minute left here. Hampton uh, still fighting off Zatoni. Got a, a nice cushion, though. Zatoni's doing some drifting. That's not how it's done. Keep it in line. Running the softs, though, if I had to imagine his tires are shot by this point. But, uh, the move we saw earlier, that does put Edmonds up into a top five. Coming up to the final lap here. <clears throat> Coming out of the last couple of corners. I suspect uh, Martin might have paid Visar Jacoli not to, uh, not to pass him. <laughs> I don't know the way he's sliding that car around. It looks like he's pushing it as hard as he can. <laughs> Got the final lap. Stoff Mill. 10 second lead. Kenny. Only a second and a half now over Wallace. So Wallace was doing some closing in, but I don't think he's got enough time to make up a second and a half here. Only about a half a lap left. You can do it! <laughs> I tried. Not gonna happen. Spoiler. See anybody in the top ten close enough? Doesn't look like it. Everybody in the top ten's pretty spread out. About the closest one is gonna be uh, Zatoni, who's falling back to a second off of Hampton now. So barring any catastrophes, looks like your top ten is sealed. The race is on for thirteenth though. Bracken making a late race push here on Joe Racer. Give him a little bump. Uh, somehow through the few wrecks that we've seen here, has managed to end up up to 13th here. The hard tires finally warmed up. Mike's ready to go. This is on now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's... We, we know uh, we know Joe Racer's on the... Was he on the... He was on the softs, right? Didn't I believe he was so. Soft? Yeah. So now we're, we're seeing <laughs> the last minute of the race, the softs and the hards will finally become competitive with one another. Unfortunately, uh, Mike McGregor held back by his 13 pit stops he took in this race. Otherwise, he would have won clearly. Oh, I mean, without a doubt, he's the best. Correct. No one's ever going to keep him down. Can't tell where we're at on the track here. Not to the end yet. Zatoni has closed that gap again. Coming up to the... Uh, Coming up to the couple of hairpins. See if he can get a run out. He goes in hard. Inside. 
Give him a little bump. Just a little bump. Like he got the power down. He's got the draft. Not going to get blocked. Hampton's going to stay wide. Go for maybe the inside line on the uh, on the right hander after this. Oh, he breaks early. Goes with the over under. It's a Tony over cooking it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, tight. Very nice. Oh, Zatoni overcooking it again into the right-hander. That's going to be that's going to be it. Coming up to the line, Hampton going to hold the top ten. So the top ten rundown: Mike Stoffmill, Sean Kenny, Travis Wallace, Eric Friesen, Mark Edmonds is your top five. Jacoli going to take sixth. Andy Blade seventh. Look at that. Held on to that seventh place. And uh, eighth place, Josiah Jerome. Very impressive. The Academy driver. Ninth place, John Barker, 10th place, going to Hampton in the roof, holding off Zatoni. Watching the last few cars here come across the line. There's DeRoche. He did He did not end up parking the car. He's going to finish the race. But, went from battling for a top five, looks like he's going to come across the line 16th. Ricardo the Brioche DeRoche. And that may be it. Everybody else looking like uh, looking like they're going to finish in the garage for round one. <laughs> uh, nice finish there. Yeehaw! Mike Stoffmill, number one in your hearts, number one on the track lap, uh, number one in your programs. His lap was... Yeah, I'm having trouble reading that. Is he a full second faster than anyone else on the grid? Sorry, I missed the I missed the mid race. He, he, My daughter he was, was <laughs> he was he was one second and one thousandth of a second faster than anyone else. Wow, his fastest lap. Thank you for that information, stroke victim uh, Mike McGrackenhead. <laughs> That's uh that is impressive, and and he wasn't even having to push. I mean, he was out there just running by himself, hot lapping, and running, running a second faster than everybody else who was pushing. Push it real good. About 20 seconds to grid here for race two. And it is a reverse grid. I, th is, I think top it's the ten? top 10. Yes. Yeah. Top 10 is going to reverse. Or maybe not. If Juan Kenneth is. Oh, uh, the top eight. There we go. The there we go. Top eight. So Josiah top Jerome, 19. the Academy driver, starting everybody off for race two. Womp, 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 womp. And the lights are out. Smoke is in the air. This one should be a little more hectic than the last. Everybody was in order the first go around. The uh, see how clean the moves through the field are here. All well, looks clean to me, Bill. Yes, is uh, I'm not seeing anybody flying yet. Like Wallace making the move on uh, on Friesen early this time, rather than being stuck behind him for half the race. It's a good idea. And, yeah, there we go. The top four breaking away. It's like the rest of the pack. Everybody's diving and looking. Looking where they can catch the advantage. Friesen fighting back on the outside. Got Stoffmill looking to the inside of Sean Kenny. Gonna get it done with a little bit of hip checking. I'll allow it. <laughs> I personally try and be in first place all the time, no matter what. Therefore, it's easy to win. That, that normally would be the outcome. I think that uh, I think that's how Mike Stoffmill looks at it. Yeah. Zaya Jerome doing a good job here, fighting off uh, fighting off Visar Jacoli. Oh, but he gets a little bumper, runs it wide. Oh, no. He drives it hard down into the right hander. A lot of contact. Oh. A lot of contact. <laughs> Martin Edmonds Whoa. working the wide angle, not going to make it work. Andy Blade. Getting the run on Edmonds coming out of the hairpin. Sean Kenny also putting the pressure on Eric Friesen. As all the bumping up front that has allowed Wallace to make a move, diving. Cutting the nose off of Andy Blade. Whoa, Stoff Mill. Hello, Ooh. goodbye. Like Sean Kinney, he wasn't expecting him to be on the brake so early. He ends up in the grass. He saves it. But he's going to level off there in eighth. Going to hold the spot, not lose anything. And I want, I want to do a top ten rundown, but this is uh, <laughs> yeah, all, this, all the action and the passing's happening so quick. I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna wait for more than one lap here. <laughs> I'm 
Travis Ball is currently on the hunt to, to put Martin Edmonds in the wall for no good reason other than he can. Absolutely. And we're going to race the inside and outside of every single track. Whatever's fastest. Oh, speaking of fastest, making a move through the S's on Edmonds. And, oh! Hello! Hello! Giving, <laughs> <laughs> giving Josiah a little bit of love there. Oh, Martin shoving him wide. Got a three wide battle coming down. This is this is insanity. Looks like Josiah Andy Jerome's going to give it up. Andy Blade looking Andy to make Blade three wide. Andy Blade currently cock blocked by literally everybody all oh the time. Oh my god. <laughs> Somehow they managed to do that. I don't even think I saw any contact. That was a lot of close racing. Nope. Everybody survives. Impressive work by everyone. Man. Edmonds running it wide again. That's going to give... Uh, I think that was Eric Friesen's rainbow car coming up the inside there. Like Martin's got the momentum on him though, he's gonna have to duck back in line. A couple of quick corners coming up. Stoff mill though, not giving up, going too wide with Josiah Jerome in the background. Whew, gonna take a breath. What a bunch of shenanigans. <laughs> All right, so through all that action, Jacoli now in the lead, and with a two-second gap over Wallace in second, Andy Blay third, Martin Edmonds fourth, Eric Friesen fifth is your top five. Looks like the top ten or so have uh, have decided to cool it down a little bit here. First four <laughs> minutes was intense. Jerome went from first to ninth in a hurry. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm sure he didn't want to get involved in whatever accident uh, could have come out of all of that that we just saw. That was probably a smart move. Eh, I'm fine with, you know, being involved. Maybe not the cause of, but being involved is fun. <laughs> so uh, looking at the looking at the top top of the board here, Andy Blade doing a impressive job holding on to third in that car. He's got uh, probably sector one. That car is impressive, and sector three might be a little even with the others, but uh, sector two, the high speed section at a great disadvantage. See how long he can hold on to that third spot. Mike Stoffmill moving up into the top five. You know, that could have been uh that could have been what all the hard racing for the for the second position on track at the moment was for. Was uh they knew Stoffmill was coming, so whoever could get the breakaway had to get out there as quick as they could. Right now that would be Jacoli. And uh trying to get as far away from Stoffmill as possible before he got a clear track. You yourself a good 40, 50 minute lead. <laughs> At least. In a 30 minute race, Stoff Mill would close the 40 minute gap. <laughs> Sean Kenny coming in. Da -da -da -da. I know it's him because he, I know Friesen and I know Sean Kenny's car all by sight because they're the only ones who drive those cars. Well, as far oh. as the color patterns go, they are easy to spot. Yep. Uh, also, the other one I can uh, spot is Hampton, because it's always the same uh, blue Porsche. Or as we in the business like to call it, the long bug. Maybe the only blue car on the track today. That's possible. At least one that's that blue. I can't, I can't recall seeing another one. Still got some racing going on back here just outside of the top ten. Uh, Zatoni. This is the battle that was shaping up at the end of the last race, and now we get to mm -hmm. watch it again here. Everybody on fresh tires. Get him! Get it worked out quick. You don't want to be too wide through here. Ooh, Zatoni barely missing the uh, the big bumps on the inside of the rumble strip this time. Still can't make it sick. We saw it stick. We saw him try that move last race. He is not giving up, though. He is all over the back of Hampton. Left and right, filling up the mirrors. Oh, he's going to push a little bit too hard. And that's going to drop him a couple of places here, coming onto the long straight. Definitely lost the momentum that he wanted there. Roche, who was battling for a top five, had the incident with the uh, with the Armco's last race. And now he's, uh, he's struggling to hold a top 12. Taking a look back up at the lead. Wallace putting the pressure on Jacoli. Big contact. Hello. Big Goodbye. Contact. Andy, Andy Blade, Blade cock blocked yet again. Gonna take the advantage of that one. Make it stick around the outside. He's gonna have the inside here. 
Doesn't look like it. Wallace may be able to clear him on the right-hander. Pretty big cut okay. there compared to the outside in that corner. Andy Blade so far has been cock blocked by, by Chaos 92 times, I think, in this race. It's like, I can make a pass! Oh, there's a large explosion of cars. Let's not. <laughs> wrong place at the wrong time, consistently. Wallace giving a little flash to Jacoli. May have worked. Jacoli getting a little wiggly here. Allowing Wallace to close up to the back bumper of the BMW. Power of the Cadillac here for the front stretch. Taking a look on the inside, up on the rumble strips. And, yeah, screw that battle. Here's Mike Stoffmill. He has caught the top four who are doing hard battle now. That is not good for any of those guys. Any One chance they had of wanting to get a, a run away from Stoffmill is gone. Because he has now joined the battle for the lead as a five-car battle. Well, I mean, if if the admins really, really were, uh, you know, self-sacrificing and, and all that good stuff, they'd just do a two-wide breaky and then uh, destroy his chances of winning. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look for the lead. Wallace getting the draft. Oh, he's got the inside, though. Can't see the battle. What is happening? Chicago all the things. <laughs> all the things. Wallace once again looking. Nose gets chopped. Get it and shot. <laughs> Jacoli running wide. Andy <laughs> Blade taking both of them. Wallace with a big hip check. Well deserved. Uh, I mean, I mean, just a big hip check. It's just a congratulatory thing. <laughs> you, you, know, you know, you wouldn't understand. That's fine. Andy Blade taking taking a major advantage there and that almost must breaking been... away with it. Andy Blade handing out multiple bribes. Well done, sir. <laughs> well done. Whatever it takes. And, oh, this is the view that Stoffmill's getting here. No, this is Jacoli. It was a Cadillac hood. I took a guess. Yeah. Jacoli, oh, giving a little love to the door of Andy Blade. Andy Blade went... And, motherfucker, the Wallace warp. is gone! <laughs> and... Good night! And I think Andy's done. That was a hard hit. That one could have ended the day. Well, I mean, obviously the bribes weren't, uh, weren't high enough, so there you go. Yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't looking good. Next but time, try uh, <laughs> top five. Let's see if we can do this one more time with a completely different lineup from before. Uh, Wallace in the lead, Jacoli second, Mike Stoffmill now third, Martin Edmonds fourth, and fifth, Eric Friesen. So Eric has worked his way back up to fifth. He was uh, down to eighth or something earlier. So doing a good job of so. working back up there. Drums Stoffmill up very, from ninth to seventh. Very aggressive. Through the S's, the Jacoli run wide. Definitely going to give Mike the, uh, yeah, the run out. So uh, the two Cadillacs now get to do battle. How does it feel that you're about to get torpedoed as hard as possible? <laughs> uh, I just, I was really hoping to hang with him. I knew he was going <laughs> to get by me. I was just praying I could keep the gap small. But we'll, well, we'll see how that plays out for me. <laughs> all things being equal, I mean, you're both driving the Cadillacs. You're both, you know, one and two. And uh, clearly uh, one of them's a, a weird American in a gimp suit and the other one's Mike Stuffmill, so. Yeah, that doesn't make me feel any better either. <laughs> I've, got, I've got the full immersion effect going and an unlimited amount of view because I can turn my head. Now, yeah. At least Stuffmill's on like a, what do you say, a 24-inch single monitor and and just kicks my ass almost literally kicks my ass there got very close uh -huh. and jacoli struggling again hitting the grass and that could give edmonds now a run to take the final podium spot away Jacoli weaving towards them try to get in martin's head doesn't like edmonds gonna let it happen though taking the inside line oh ho, ho, giving him the door no harm no foul Takes the third Bye -bye. spot away. I think this is one of the few races I've seen where we're approaching the halfway mark and I don't see anybody who isn't finishing the race. Like, do send, uh, oh, please send all lar uh, ca la cards and letters in condolences to uh, Mike McGracken and his horrible stroke to uh, care of P.O. Box, uh, the Discord for the racing thing. 
man, if you uh, if you could follow that, you're, you're a better listener than me. Hey, it's a skill testing question now. Taking a look at McCracken. No. Softmill, one of the Cadillacs. I mean, damn. Softmill now closing the gap under half a second to Wallace. Got a great run coming out of there, just cutting that gap down. Both cars late on the brakes. Softmill taking a tighter line, trying to get under the under the bumper there. Can't get it done. I'd like to point out that really all you have to do is pull a solid brakey, and then you clearly have first place locked up. Yeah, yeah, that might would have worked. Your little bump, and you just hit the gas. Might would Who's that I see in the back? Sean Kenny has Whoa. called the battle for fifth. He was about a second and a half back last time I looked at it. It's like a cuckoo finger bird. Has closed right up on Eric Friesen. But, uh, it's like the race for the lead's tight. Oh, Stoffmill taking the dive. Looks like he's going to get it done while he's trying to get the power down, sliding like crazy. Oh, 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 oh. Pinching him in the corner. Runs a little wide. But it looks like he's got the momentum. I don't know. Stoffmill coming back on the inside. It's going to be a battle of wheels here. Wallace breaking a hair earlier. Stoffmill making it stick on the inside to secure the lead. Wallace yeah, can do on the cutback. There it is! There you are! Get him, put oh, him in the wall! He gets to the bumper. Can't quite put the bumper to him. It's uh, it's going to be unmentioned whether he tried or not. <laughs> can either <laughs> confirm nor deny. Uh, I've got no statement. <laughs> Definitely not letting him get away. Just right under the back wing. Cadillacs now. I do know that I ended up running a lot more downforce than Stoffmill. And I believe that it shows through the S's. <laughs> I think Sector 1 and 3 was about the only place I could actually hold time with them. Sector 2, I got destroyed with the uh, with the long straightaways. <laughs> Even I don't in know the what draft. any of that means. Even in the draft, I mean, look, I'm sitting right behind him and just losing time. I definitely should have cut the cut the downforce back a little bit. But, Reeson closing up here uh, to Jacoli. Putting I mean, the race on for fourth. I mean, the good news is if they if you had to do a loop-to-loop, -loop, you totally would have beat him. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. <laughs> then if anybody wants any copies of my uh, Trackmania tracks, please send all cards and letters in care of uh, Mike McGracken, Discord. Uh, sorry about your yo damn stroke. Tony really putting the pressure there on Achazo. All over the back bumper. I'm surprised they weren't touching. It was that close. Not to be racist, but I can't tell them apart. They all look the same. <laughs> Blade trying to take advantage here. I thought he was going to sit back and uh, watch the battle unfold. But he was getting involved. Take a look back up at the lead. I'm not sure why. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't catch him. <laughs> this is one of the very few times we get to see anybody anywhere near the lead. So I know. Let's take advantage of it. Uh, Mike yeah. Stoffmill in the lead. We can see his car. It is black and white and red. Uh, Remington sponsored. Uh, I don't With think we do that uh, in, the, in the races that he's made. We haven't seen the sponsor. There we go. Taking a look Remington the, the Razor Company or Remington the Gun Company? Good question. I think it's the Razors, though. Lame. And, uh, Friesen running wide. No, that was Jacoli. Ran wide. Friesen getting the spot. Jacoli. I'm not. Whoa, nope. Oh! Listen. <laughs> listen. A little bit it's, not the, it's not the Olympics here. We don't need a little synchronized uh, mm. skating or swimming. Man, that was. I ain't going to say that was, uh. That was Jacoli's fault, but he went in hot. <laughs> Well, he is Albanian, and therefore probably on the take. But uh, either way, I think he was the bigger loser out of that. Uh, falling down I would to agree. seventh. Friesen holding on to sixth. He Nobody wants now. to be behind Andy Blade. That's just gross. Looking to... Uh, he's in the top ten. Andy Blade. He was in third. What did I miss? Oh, the wall. That's right. He, <laughs> uh, he decided to take a nosedive into the wall with a little help from well we're just not going to mention it 
<laughs> we've we've seen more, and we're we're gonna stay away from that and let the stewards do their job. Oh, dive a little help from my friends. But uh, apparently he didn't hit the wall as hard as it looked like, because I don't see much damage. I don't see any damage actually on that car. It's hard to tell. The car's an odd shape, anyways. Well, I mean, he did clearly hit the wall hard enough to deform his rearview mirrors. It's clearly... Oh, hello. 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 Echazo. <laughs> Run Is it wide. me you're racing with? Andy Blade going to look to the inside. Hard to see from this angle. He gets it to stick on the inside. And, yeah, he definitely cleared him. Echazo running very wide. That's also going to allow Zatoni to maybe take a look. Not going to be able to get it done there. He's got the outside line, so we'll have the momentum on the straight. Looking. Can't quite get it done. Is it true that the Corvette's... Uh, hide, er, uh, the Corvette's... Um, come on, brain. Brain, just shut off. Uh, I'm looking for a technical term, and it has to do with suspension. Is it true that the Corvette <laughs> suspension is made entirely out of uh, blocks of aluminum and hatred? Uh, you know, when they hit the curbs, it definitely looks like it. Uh -huh. They are quite rigid. I remember watching a Top Gear episode where, uh, <laughs> one of the, the Clarkson was just like, they did all this work, and they put all this together, and they're still using giant leaf springs as suspension. What the fuck? <laughs> You know, American uh, American suspension technology for a long time was <laughs> way behind. <laughs> they worked on the wagon way behind. <laughs> worked, uh, worked for the Oregon Trail, it'll work on a charger. Yeah, what else do you need? And uh, we were just looking at, uh, at some racing back in the back of the grid, and that took my attention to Joe Racer, sitting 14th right now with Barker in 7th. Uh, I would say at this point, Barker's pretty much got the Division Two title wrapped up, unless uh, unless something happens. But he's got a nice cushion around him. If he can uh just keep it on the track, drive safe, drive smart, that's gonna be a Division Two win there. Little did you know that Mr. Racer has been sandbagging the entire time and is about to put the rally ha rally cap on and throw the sandbags out the window. <laughs> a little bit of shoving back here in the battle for tenth. As the Tony ran it a little wide, Hampton decided to take a look at it. They got together, and Hampton came out the worser of those two. The Tony holding on to tenth. That's eleventh. Can't read, guys. I can't read. Alphanumeric's not good. <laughs> not good at all. Don Kenny, we can get a view of that. Looks like oh, I called it. Uh, putting the pressure on Martin Edmonds here. Josiah's fucking all the way back up to fifth place. He's climbing. The dirty way to get to fifth, but whatever works for you. <laughs> I'll allow it. <laughs> Don Kenny couldn't get it done. Down the long straights. See when we start hitting some tighter corners how he manages. Rip that that car puts out. It is incredible the way that car takes corners. <clears throat> Which, why wouldn't it be the way that it's basically just a door wedge correct very aerodynamic <laughs> i like it it's all curved and sleek a look in the right hairpin can't get his bumper there going to the left edmund's gonna leave the door open and chop the nose both cars running wide on the exit oh can he spin in the tires that's not good for the straight the power of the bmw Edmund should have no problem defending here. Listen, I'm not a racing expert, but racing with your door open, just that does, doesn't sound aerodynamic. Probably not. Creating too much drag. Battle still on for 10th, as uh, the Tony has managed to catch a little bit up to uh, Achazo here. Hampton still hanging on, and the roof... Listen, in regards to my uh, colleague's previous comment about too much drag, we are very inclusive here in the racing league. Uh, you know, don't feel that we're going to shun you just because you'd like to wear different people's clothing. It's fine. You know, we're, we're just uh, we're trying to be trying to be nice here. 
whatever floats your boat, man. I, I personally, I like the Rocky Horror Picture Show. So, <laughs> just because no my co-host eats squirrel <laughs> on the regular doesn't mean you can't show up and have a good time. Oh, it's a Tony sticking his nose under a Chazo. And looks like he caught the uh, the big red rumble strips we've spoken a couple of times about now. Really not good for that corner. Ampton, with all the mistake, trying to push for a uh, for a move, but like they may have bumped doors mm -hmm. and did not work out for him. John Kenny still working to get on the podium, and I'm not a hundred percent sure, but I think even if he finishes fourth, he's he's got the division one title uh, and the championship overall wrapped up. I, I would I, concur if mathematically I could keep up with that racket. I think uh, I think he's racing just for for proving himself now, trying to finish on the podium in the final round of the championship that uh, that he's set to win here. As long as he doesn't doesn't get together with Edmonds, not saying it's going to happen, but we've watched Martin Edmonds race before. Have we? It's, it's likely. <laughs> and once again. You see the grunt of that BMW compared to the uh, that thing that Kenny's driving. I think you're pretty safe from Martin Edmonds as long as you're not in front of him. <laughs> well, that's where Kenny's trying to get. I don't know if that's a wise decision. Not without uh, applying a little uh, little applied physics here and there. Yeah, maybe that's the way to do it. Yeah. When you when you go to go by, just give Martin a little shove. Give him a high get, five. That's what get him out of the way before he gets you out of the way. Martin appreciates a little appreciation, so just give him a high five with your car, and then go by. Getting a run into the S's. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to get there. He's going to try. Can't quite get his nose in. Edmund's driving hard in. May slow mm. both of them up a little bit. Now, uh... Oh, that's my pirouette. You can see the gap dropping down to three, two. There's the smoke. One no. and a half seconds, one second. Yep, it missed the spin, but that's exactly what happened. I overcooked the S's. <laughs> Very nice. The old tires gave up, and now the race is on for second place. As there's now, once again, a 10 and 11 second gap. Stoff mill in the lead. Now a three-car battle for second, so that's much more entertaining. And speaking of entertaining, Zatoni still working on a Chazo. Still can't get it done. Corvette sounds so good. Oh, Chazo thought about the shortcut. Thought better of it. Realized he was on camera. And that's what happened there. <laughs> I don't want to go to car jail. <laughs> Go for the left coming up to the hairpins. Not going to get it done on the right. And looks like he's too far away for the left-hander. He is going to put the bumper, though. Put the bumper to a Chazo. <laughs> Both of the Corvettes getting a little squirrely. The draft, is he going to jump out? Uh, yeah, there he goes. Late break from both drivers. And doesn't like he's going to get the pass completed. Looking at the times, yeah. They're already into the right-hander now, so. Still not able to get it done for 10th, but taking a look back up to the battle for second place. Uh, not sure how long it's going to be a three-car battle. About four minutes left in the race, but Wallace already trying to pull that gap back out to over a second. Working on it. John Kenny still not giving up. <clears throat> still all over the back of Martin Edmonds. Uh, not making a move. Making sure he's in Martin's mirror. Edmonds distracted. I think that's his. Uh, I think that's his method of attack. When in doubt, put him in the wall. Uh oh, who's that? Jacoli. Looks like he's had some trouble. Uh, it's giving Zatoni and. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's Tony and Nachazo, door to door. More bumping. Liking this battle. They've been going at it the whole time. <laughs> they are very aggressive. And now that I said that, 
Tony looks like the bump put him off in the grass. Not giving up. He's pushing back hard. He wants that spot. <laughs> so badly. Sean Kenny once again having a bad hairpin. And uh, for that car, that is not the spot you want to have a bad corner. Anything, that's, that's the one turn you want to hit perfectly. Get the run down that long straightaway. Dropping him to second and a half now. About a second. Times are weird. We'll say a second. Off the back bumper of Martin Edmonds. Hanging on to Wallace. Definitely hanging on to Wallace. Only a few car links separating them. Told you you should have pulled the brakey. No one listens to me. <laughs> now, with Stoff Mill, maybe that would have been the way to go. But, not to sound cocky, but Martin's not going to catch me. Oh, I wasn't snap. worried. <laughs> We're going to count on Martin having his second poutine of the day already. He's going to hit the carb coma, and then he pass out low. Hey, you don't show up for commentary, you're going to get talked about. Correct. <laughs> you can't defend yourself, I'm going to say bad things. <laughs> Apparently he's at an all-you-can-eat buffet for like three straight hours, and he's going to gain 92 pounds, and it's going to be horrific. Oh, Josiah Jerome. Old tire's catching him out. Couldn't tell if he no, went all the Josiah. way around or got the wall or anything, but definitely falling back to at least eighth at the moment. We'll see but, what it uh, is, is Andy's handing out more bribes. Ah, is that what I am? Yeah, yeah. Andy's closing in <laughs> on him, so I, that may have been it. He paid him off real quick. Rowan was like, I'll make it look good, don't worry. No, yeah, we're gonna wait till the end. We're gonna I'm gonna have I'm gonna have bad tires and then we're gonna wait, Yeah, wait. you'll be fine. Oh, Barker's struggling with the tires as well. Getting a little loose. Giving uh giving Blade another opportunity. He's closed up to the back bumper now. And once again we're looking at the BMW versus the uh what is that thing? The P four five. God, it's taking me that long. Almost an hour to come up with the name of that car. It's uh, it's red. <laughs> the red one. Yeah. Yeah, you can see the difference there. The uh, the engine placement being in the in the middle of the car in the red one. Uh, much better grip, even on the old tires. You could you can see Barker struggling to put the power down. But uh, Sean Kinney, Sean Kinney pulling back up here. Still putting the pressure on Martin Edmonds coming down to the white flag. One lap left. Wallace is checked out to over a second. Looks like the battle's going to be on for third place. Let's see if Sean Kenny can get it done before the time runs out here. Does the white flag mean that everybody's literally just surrendered and Mike's going to win anyway? Uh, I think that happened the moment that he took the lead. Hurtful. <laughs> I mean, looking at a 13-second gap in this race, that's that's wow. even more than the previous race. Maybe if somebody had <laughs> done the disco in the too. back instead of in the front. Oh, Sean Kinney. Sticking the nose under Edmonds. Late move into the corner. Can't get it done. Got a good run out, though. Looks like they're side by side. Not quite. Edmonds still managing to hold him off. About halfway done with the lap. And screw that. Andy Blade made a mistake. Let's look at it. What a drunk. <laughs> let, uh, let's let Achazo and Zatoni back by him still doing battle there goes the tony again same move as last time that put him in the wall can't get it done oh my god there he goes again are it's we like gonna an see an replay. argentine apocalypse <laughs> oh no my goodness and the front end is gone from satoni's car that is race over loser gets exiled to chile the only a couple of corners left for sean kenny get it done here Two corners, and closing, filling the mirrors again, making the wider entry, drift mode engaged, wide <laughs> entry into the right hander, try to get the momentum off, there he goes, cutting down, got the run, Edmonds blocks, he doesn't, Edmonds leaves the door open there, side by side, coming to the line, can he get it done, Wallace with the power break. Uh, it doesn't look like it. I think Edmonds kept third. Well, I mean, he might be better at the bribes than Andy. 
Yeah, apparently, uh, apparently Sean Kenny's the one to bribe. He made it look really good, like he was really trying. And same move, Andy Blade trying that Sean Kenny tried. Cannot get it done. He's settling for ninth. And uh, DeRoche had a quiet race in the back and brings it home 10th. Watching everyone else finish now. So finish in order for uh, for the second race here tonight. Mike Stoffmill taking the win again. No surprise there. Beautiful BMW with no front bumper. Uh, Wallace bringing home second this time. Martin Edmonds third. John Kenny fourth. Eric Friesen rounding out your top five. Six, John Barker. Also securing the Division II title. Congratulations to him. Uh, Josiah Jerome with another strong finish. Coming home seventh. An even better result in race two. Great for the Academy driver. Uh, Achazo Blade de Roche rounding out your top ten. P11 is Zatoni 12. Hampton 13. Jacoli. Uh, Racer and Panero rounding out your 14 and 15. McGracken being the last car running on the track. Finishing 16th. Uh, and once again, Mike Stoffmill with the fastest lap. Exactly one second again. But, oh, nope, not quite. A little Edmonds. bit better than a second. Yep. Yep, about a second Dang. faster than the rest of the field. Again, just pure domination from that Cadillac. I say again, domination from that Cadillac in both rounds today. He's no thrust master, but he gets the job done. <laughs> so congratulations to, uh, to all of of our drivers here today a great show what many mistakes a few a few but overall a lot of clean racing for the uh, for the hour we we're running today you miss so, you say mistakes i say entertainment value absolutely looking at the points looks like uh with the fourth place finish there in round two sean kenny does secure the win uh barker as stated before taking vision two title and leave jesse hampton they have gotten the Division Three title. So congratulations to all those guys on their victories as well in the overall. No good out.